taxes do you need to pay in China when you sell a property here? Well, this is a very important question for any foreign seller who want to sell their property in China. Basically, we need to look at what kind of property you are selling. If you are sell a resident residential property, that is property for for living. In this case, it's、uh, actually very very simple. In most cases, you are only paying two taxes. The first, personal income tax.、Uh, but in the case of personal income tax, if you have a property in China and you have bought it for more than five years, and this is the only property in China you have, the only property the whole family have in China, and then in this case, the personal income tax is exempted that you don't need to pay. The second tax you might need to pay is the VAT tax. VAT tax is applied、uh, based on the difference of the sale price and the purchase price. But in certain circumstances, for example, you have been holding the property for more than three or five years, depending on which location in China, this VAT might be exempted if your property is considered as a ordinary. By ordinary property, there is a certain standard. You need to look at the local standard in that city. But of course, when we're talking about ordinary property, that might be for not ordinary property, that kind of luxury, high price、uh, property. In that case, you most likely you need to pay the VAT tax. The tax rate is five point thirty eight or something like that percent of the difference of the sale price. And the purchase price, but if you are selling not a residential property but a commercial or、uh, some industrial property, then there there is a lot more taxes you need to pay. You need to pay personal income tax, and there is no chance this personal income tax to be exempted in the case of a commercial property or not residential property. You also need to pay VAT tax. And you also need to pay the land VAT tax. Remember here, VAT and the land VAT are two separate、uh, taxes here.、Uh, you might also need to pay、uh, the stamp duty. Of course, in the case of residential property, the stamp duty is often exempted.、Uh, so you see, in China, if you hold the residential property, the value might appreciate a lot, and you pay a lot less tax compared to. The not residential properties, so that's basically is the picture、uh, about paying taxes when you sell a property in China.